all right guys welcome back to another gunfire reborn stream uh today is a special day i have a couple people in the chat and um feeling good just got a bunch of new equipment key lighting and microphones and uh, a few other things that just makes my stream feel so much better and um expect great things to come however currently i had an idea I am a big fan of roguelites, clearly, uh, considering I'm playing one. However, uh, there are a few YouTubers that I follow that do um, certain runs of certain uh, uh, roguelites. For example, Beals over at twitch.tv slash Beals will do Skull the Hero Slayer runs, where he'll do one specific skull and carry it all the way through to the end of the game. Doc Firebird does the uh, same thing with, say, uh, Dead Cells, where he'll pick a weapon and showcase that weapon from start to finish. V.me also does that as well. And to follow in their footsteps, I want to be that for Gunfire Reborn. Gunfire Reborn, of course, is still a fledgling Chinese-made title. It doesn't have too much of a following, and it does still have periodic updates as it comes as it is still technically in early access. I want to get um, ahead of the curve and create content based on each weapon and each character in the game. I uh, plan to do a run from start to finish using a single weapon. I will continue to upgrade the weapon or if a shop has the weapon, swap it out or what have you, but I will use only one weapon. I'm also in a unique position to do this considering I am max level. The max level in the game currently is 130. And I am in a unique position since I've been playing this game for so long. I, I actually have every item unlocked. I have every skill unlocked. And uh, for those asking in the chat, yes, I will be uploading these to YouTube. YouTube will be my priority. Streaming is just to get it captured and, uh, you know, interact with the fan base uh, as I see fit. But as you can see, I have all 44 weapons unlocked, which will allow me to have the entire pool of weaponry. And of course, try to do these these runs from start to finish. Maybe talk about where they build, where they synergize. I might run it. I might I might run into some troubles with certain bosses, with certain weapons. But either way, I believe that this could be a really, a really good uh, series um, for people who just want to get into the game. I'm going to start on normal and I'm going to change my hero. See, now, Leiluo is a very complex hero that doesn't get going until the middle of the game. So I think I'm going to switch it up to a hero with some sustain. And I believe Kian. Bird up! is going to be the best for sustain. I can heal myself and protect myself if I get into some trouble. Now, to start this run, again, like I said, I'm going to do a run while keeping one of these three weapons. And one of my favorite weapons has actually popped up. It's actually the Porcupine Shotgun. It has two, alt, it has two firing modes and 100% effective range, 100% stability as an affix. So that's pretty good. So there's basically going to be no recoil when I shoot this thing. And also, since it's a shotgun with 100% effective range, it's pretty good. Pretty good. So I'm going to try to complete this entire game with just this weapon. I'm going to upgrade this weapon at the shop. I'm going to see if I can get another one at the shops, but I'm only going to use this weapon. Let's see how far I can get. Jumping in, stage one on normal. We got a secret area already. Pretty good. That's pretty good. It has two firing modes where it shoots one bullet that explodes into a billion when it hits. Or you can just do this and shoot a huge shot at once. All right. Now, Kion, which is this uh, this melee character that I'm using, uh, is exactly that, a melee character. He can chop or he can jump and kick into enemies. And his jump heals him when you do it um if you get if you kill an enemy you get more health back um and there are of course upgrades and whatnot that you can get to your character that will increase that effect um all right so challenge room number one done real easy real quick um untold effort is a scroll that doubles 
uh, that has a chance of doubling your uh, basically your utility. So my chop has a 50% chance of doing double damage, but also a 50% chance of using two of my charges, which are down in the corner there, that, that green little meniscus. All right, so I'm going to take it. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to take it because if I get a chance to trade it, I will. If I get, if I get a chance to trade it up, I'll do that. Um, because it is a risky skull to use. It's good to get that damage early, but using t two times ammo, pretty risky. This is the Wild Hunt. It's a double barrel shotgun. Really powerful, but it bleeds ammo because it uses special ammo. A run with that weapon, probably almost impossible. But I'll try it one day. You're probably noticing that I get coins um, every time I shoot. Um, I have unlocked the ability uh, across all characters that gives me... Um, gold every time I hit a critical hit. Uh, thank you, baby. So uh, my um, my fiance is in the chat, and she says the mic quality has improved over my recent streams, and um, I'm very proud of that. Um, spent some spent some serious cash in order to get my mic settings correct. Bunch of YouTube tutorials, um, and I uh, I feel as though it's paid off. Now, here we are at the first chest. Again, if, you, if you're watching this, um, I'm not going to assume you know uh, how these chests work, but this is a golden goblet, and what it does is allows you to upgrade uh, your abilities. So my leap is that jump kick that I was telling you about. Gigantic Explosion would upgrade the AoE. Um, as of course, this is a uh, armor enhancement will give me more armor for six seconds after I use a leap. And then this one will give me more weapon damage after I use a leap because it gets you in really close and you might be stranded so you can do more damage. Um, I think what I'm going to do for this one is use Gigantic Explosion. I'm going to rely on my leap to keep my health up since, I'm am, since I am using a shotgun. I do want to get closer. I can do more damage. Now, that uh, Golden Goblet that I just obtained does not carry over from run to run. It carries over from level to level, but once you die and start over, of course, you'll have to unlock those again. The skill tree at the end of the run is what carries over. There we go. There we go. Making my way through. Now, here is a shop, and here is a chest. I'm going to talk to the chest first. The chest usually asks for something in return. Um, all right, baby. I love you. See you later. Um, this time it's asking for money. I don't have too much money, but I am going to gamble it. And that is not a good scroll for me. Deflection shield is, I take, uh, it's actually really far away. I can't even see it from here. But the fucking scroll, uh, it, I take a lot of damage if people are really close to me. I take like 90% extra damage, but 90% less damage if they're far away. Like if you can read it there. Um... If, if they're close, I take double damage pretty much. It's not a really good scroll. I just wasted $200 on it. Not happy about it. Um, now, here's a shop. Now, remember, I'm only using the shotgun for this run. Um, trying to showcase what scrolls would be good for it, and that one is not it. So what I'm going to do is buy a refill on my ammo there. And then I'm going to re-roll the shop, see if I can get a better porcupine. Um doesn't look like i just got a scroll there you can get a scroll out of here um, doesn't look like i'm going to get another one so i'm going to have to stick with level one porcupine again we're just going to keep on moving now this uh weapon has the added benefit of having corrosive damage on it so with that scroll that i just picked up from the shop if i kill an enemy that's under an elemental effect I get 1% of my HP back. Um, doesn't seem like a lot, and it isn't. <laughs> it isn't quite, it isn't a lot. However, in the heat of battle, you know, 1% can save you. Wow, how did that hit me? Ooh, the pupil shotgun. Very powerful shotgun. Um, you charge it up, and it does more damage. Again, can't take it. Wish I could. It's one of my favorite weapons. Um, and another golden goblet. Let's see what I can upload. Uh, upgrade. Per enemy killed, max armor plus five for six seconds. Of course, I'm making more tanky. Um, since I was leaning into leap, I'm going to do last breath, or to, to last breath, which will upgrade my 
uh, leap damage. So now I have higher AOE for my leap and I do higher damage. And if I kill an enemy with it, I get one second cooldown reduction. Stacking, stacking, stacking those leap skills. I think I'm gonna lean heavily into leap rather than my chop, even though chop does pretty good damage. Enemies explode when I kill them in this room. Gotta be careful, this is a close range character. So being close range to them would do some serious damage. I'm just taking damage very carelessly. Gonna use the craftsman here and upgrade my porcupine three times just so I can get some more damage on it. Gotta, it's a blessing and a curse using the same weapon for the entire run. If I could get piercing on this thing, it'd be crazy. Um, because if I could get, uh, not, since I don't have to upgrade two weapons at once, uh, not only is it cheaper for me and I can save more money, but also, oh, wow, ouch, jerk. Um, not only is it cheaper, and I can just put all my money into one weapon, but my default weapon, the Foundry, also levels up to keep up with this weapon. Um, the Foundry typically levels up only uh, to the lowest weapon that you hold. So if I have the Porcupine plus three and I was to pick up this Demon Lore here, my weapon will be plus two. I mean, my default weapon will be plus two. But since I'm only carrying one weapon right now, uh, my default pistol is going to level up the same speed as my porcupine. It's a tactical move, and um, I think it's going to come in handy in the event that I run out of ammo with my shotgun. This is a long challenge room. Taking some serious damage here. Okay, so I completed that challenge of uh, avoiding damage and now i'm gonna i get a bonus scroll now this scroll is one of the most powerful scrolls typically buns that you pick up off the ground heal you for 25 percent health with this scroll they now recover full hp really good for tanky builds and of course to upgrade myself once again um this would be a good one for my karate chop which i'm not using but 40% damage against enemy within seven meters. One, I'm using a shotgun, and two, I'm forwarding, I'm, uh, I'm putting all my power into my leap. So this would be a great upgrade because I'll do more damage with that leap. But also the shotgun would wreck too. So I don't have to worry about any kind of bonuses. I'm just in the area, I can still do damage. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. On to stage three, or four, excuse me. It's the last stage before the first boss. Bonus room. Gonna dodge these. Take out the shield bearer first. Get some headshots in there, get those extra coinage, and then jump into the bonus room. Now, this is a this is not a good challenge room for this gun. I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, this gun will probably get me killed. Because this room is full of stone statues. And what the stone statues do is if you hit them, they become alive. And unfortunately, I have a shotgun that has massive spread. So what I might have to end up doing is just fighting everybody. And I don't want to do that. Screw it. Oh, they don't activate with, with abilities. Pretty good. Going to play this safe. So many enemies around. Okay, okay. We're doing it. Very nice, very nice. Um, I gotta say, this porcupine would have made all these enemies come alive, and it's these rooms are hell. These rooms are new too, but these rooms are hell. All right, let's pick a pick a scroll. Genesis is pretty good. Ammo belt. So ammo belt gives me double ammo capacity. Um, tactical reload, of course, buffs me when I'm reloading, and Genesis. When I'm uh, when I'm shooting, there's 20% chance of me uh, adding ammo for my reserves into my clip, so I will never have to reload. Um, not really a problem. I'm going to take ammo belt. Uh, that way, I can have more in reserve when I need it. Longbowmen. Longbowmen are very deadly enemies. 
definitely want to take those out as soon as possible. Here's a chest over here. There's a bonus room over there. I'm gonna snipe that. Get that unlocked. Let's see if I can make this jump. Woo! Bam! All right, pretty good, pretty good. Very nice, doing some decent damage. Getting these headshots, getting all those criticals, getting all that money. Very good, very good. This is usually a survival room too. They usually have waves in this room. Now, there's a chest over here. I'm gonna go pick that up, see what they have to offer. Might trade in untold effort. Um, really don't like having that scroll on um, unless I have some way to regenerate my uses. Um, I could give my HP to get a new reroll, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, just going to ignore that. There's also a weapon under there, but again, can't pick it up, so I'm not really going to worry about it. Going into the bonus room here. Oh! Spikes! Cheeky bastards. Oh! Ah! Ouch! Oh, there's an upstairs. Thought I was done. Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? I'm just gonna leap through this. Gotta love the bird, man. Okay. Very dangerous room. Whoa. All right, all right, we're making, we're making things happen. There's one more enemy. Of course, it's a bomb thrower. A grenadier. There we go. All right, let's get out of this death trap room before I die. Just like, like that. Actually, where's the exit? Is it over here? No, I'm going backwards. Damn it all. Do your thing, dog. Deft hands. Okay. Deft hands pretty good. I'm going to go over that in a second. Um, bl uh, bluff. 25% HDP when your health is full. And then you have bloody ammo. If you Even if you run out of ammo, you can use your HP to fire. But deft hands is when you shoot, you don't use ammo. If you kill an enemy, you don't use ammo. It's really good for the double barrel shotgun, um, but I have so much ammo, I don't think I'm gonna ever need it. So I'm gonna take Bluff. My HP is full, gonna do some extra damage. 25% is quite a bit. So I think that's a pretty that's a pretty good deal right there. Full HP gets that extra damage. We're gonna go right ahead. Um, this is usually a survival room, but thank goodness it's not gonna make me survive. Uh, I'm just gonna kick these guys in the face shoot that open karate chop you before you can even get up shoot you a couple times all right whoa please kill him yeah doing some damage right there blah 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 whoa ow 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 eh. ouch dodge kick him yeah Good stuff. Fire glove and a bun to heal me if I need it. All right. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Now, I know there's a secret room over there. Always, always, always. Here is a tip that I uh, hope everyone follows. Please take the golden goblet before you go into the bonus rooms bonus rooms have elite enemies which are mini bosses sometimes and you want to take any extra power-ups you can into those rooms um region hit fantastic absolutely fantastic uh skill now my leap already heals me when i get a successful kick this is a bonus on top of that every time i leap into damn uh, into action not only am i using 
uh, a powerful skill to kill any enemies around me, but I'm also getting health back. That's the way I can have some sustain. This is what I was talking about when I chose this character. Um, if I'm gonna use, if I'm gonna be risking uh, my bacon using one weapon at a time based on the three random ones it gives me in the start, gonna have to have some sustain, and this is a good way to do it. And you'll see in just a second why I always say it's pretty good to get the golden goblets before you go into these rooms. This is the beetle boss room. We're gonna fight a beetle. And it's kind of a bullet sponge, if I do say so myself. Ah, here it is. I'm gonna stick close to it. Definitely try to do that extra 75% damage. Kick these guys, get them out of my way. And I'm just gonna hammer him in the face. His weak point is his eyes. Really difficult to hit. Pretty good weapon right there. Another golden goblet. That's rare. Getting a golden goblet from these enemies, not not very common. You usually get a scroll. So I'm going to take advantage of this. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do defense. I definitely want to become tanky. I am doing this run by myself with no support. All the enemies focused is going to be on me. I don't have my teammates to hide behind. So I'm going to build a little tankier than I normally would. I'm a coward. Sue me. Oh, deadly curse. That's, ooh, that's good. That's a good scroll, but it is risque. All right, let's see. Primary skill capacity plus one, but cooldown plus 30. Um, That gives me an extra kick. I'm going to take that. Definitely going to take that. Fantastic scroll. And that's a new scroll, too. That was recently added in the, in the last update. Very good scroll. Actually, the first time I'm getting it. So I'm very happy with it. Um, yeah, I would have taken Deadly Curse. That 75% damage increase is fantastic. But I'm going to be honest, uh, when you're playing alone, not really the best one. Um, if I can get a better weapon next time, uh, I'll try it. But Decay Driver, pretty good. This weapon, this... Uh, um, this porcupine that I'm using does do decay damage, and this scroll is free, so technically speaking, there's no downside to taking it. Um, that's a really good big hippo, oh my goodness. Uses double ammo, but it shoots two bullets at once. Accuracy and stability, so it has no recoil or no bullet spread, and it pierces armor? Oh my god. Oh, that this is godlike. Oh, I would love it. I would love to take that weapon, but I can't. So we're going to move on. Going to go to the Craftsman. Upgrade this weapon two more times. Spending all my money to do so. But I am at plus five for both of my weapons. Pretty good. Now, I wish that I was fighting the... Um, uh, Lu Wu. Lu Wu is actually my favorite boss in the game. Uh, this is the new go golem mini boss. I mean, sorry, first boss. And he's he's not difficult. He's just not really the most fun to fight. So to explain what he does, he shoots that laser, which is impossible to dodge unless you have like frame perfect dodging. Um, um, so you hide behind these pillars and then he'll shoot these, which are no match for a shotgun. He'll shoot, his, he'll shoot his lasers, or if he ground pounds, he'll blow up these rocks. And those rocks do a lot of explosive damage. And then, of course, when he's making rocks grow, you should also dodge those rocks as well. See, rocks explode, do explosive damage. Then, of course, he's gonna summon the rocks again. Make sure you dodge, and you're fine. Pretty easy first boss. I like Lu Wu better. Um, He's gonna hit me with those fists. Those do insane damage as well. Animation's not really that great though. I think they need to work on that. Shoot his core, of course, for the critical hits. And there you go. Took no HP damage. And he gives us a bunch of weapons and a scroll and a goblet. Now, this talisman, love this weapon. It's pretty cool. 
Um, fortunately, can't pick it up. Maybe next time. Advanced Depot. Advanced Depot is a very interesting uh, scroll. Advanced Depot, um, instead of using that, if you see down in the corner, my ammo counter, where it says 12, instead of using the 12 bullets, it uses the 320 bullets, but I do less damage. Um, basically, it makes it so I never have to reload. Um, that's a good weapon. I mean, that's a good scroll to get for shotguns because shotguns don't have a high um, clip count. So I'm going to take that. So now look when I shoot. The, the 300 number goes down instead of the other one. So it's pretty good to get. Um, oh, it's giving me another upgrade for my leap. Definitely got to get that. And it, uh, and that 40% that cooldown offsets the 30% added cooldown I get from having a second uh, uh, weapon from the scroll energy storage. And energy storage, I did not know, is a cursed scroll. So I can't drop it. So you learn live and learn all right next level let's get in there we're gonna make it happen my man's out by coolest character in the game gotta love him all right all right this is a challenge room all monsters will constantly recover hp that's new never seen that before Let's see if I can take him out as fast as I can. Whoa, he's freaking out. Ah, oh my god. These two enemies recovering health. The arsonists are immensely powerful enemies. Yeah, yeah. Big AoE. Big damage. And a bonus room. We in there. We live. And there's a lot of healing around pretty great pretty great we're doing we're doing all right now it may seem like i'm kind of making this a cakewalk but this game gets hard very quickly and this is the biome that does it like it's not it's not a walk in the park this good uh, oh 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 those guys do major damage chop Shop. Shut him down. Open up shop. And what elite am I fighting? Ooh, the elite hermit. Never actually fought this guy. He's new. Um, unfortunately, I am dealing uh, corrosive damage, which is not strong against shields. And he has uh, shields. So, wh where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god. Uh, get over here. Get those critical hits. Get that money. Kick him. There we go. Is that still active? Ooh, bloody drill. Fantastic sniper rifle. I think I'm going to do that. Going to just keep leaning into that kick. That jump kick is getting really powerful. Um, definitely going to keep leaning into that. And what scroll can I get? Snow boots, which means I don't get slowed down anymore and traps do less fast loader is switching weapons will reload my uh weapon and perfect sip so every six shots i do extra damage i am going to take snow boots don't want to get slowed down especially when i'm alone definitely a huge risk um that i don't want to take playing this game alone get those big risks and this game will this game will make you regret it real quick Hiya! Wow, that AOE is huge. One more time. Oh, gonna get his shields down first before I kick him, and then see if I can do enough damage. There we go. Oh! Whoa! Ow! Wait. Wow. He teleported behind there. Now, this game does have a failsafe when that happens. Um, when, when an enemy stays behind a rock that you can't get to, there is a failsafe. Um, they will teleport to you eventually. Uh, I'm going to put one more upgrade in. That's all I can afford. I do. Uh, another bonus to playing with friends in this game is 
you get more money. Enemies drop more money because more, more of them spawn. Give one curse scroll for a... An, uh, give one scroll for another scroll. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of um, Untold Effort. I'm going to give it. And then I got Against the Flow. So what Against the Flow does is your ammo constantly drains. However, if you keep shooting enemies, you gain more ammo. So basically, it's unlimited ammo with a catch. You just have to keep moving and keep shooting before you lose all of it. It's like a, it's like a little meta game within the game. It's pretty fun, but it, it'll pretty much make sure that I've never run out of ammo. If you have a, if you have like a weapon like um, the uh, the big hippo, which is the Gatling gun, you pretty much never run out of ammo with uh, against the flow. The the ammo clip is so big that you'll just keep shooting forever. It's pretty good. Um, I'll have to show you guys that um, a little later. All right, wait, follow my own advice. Oh, no, this is my favorite shotgun in the game. The Illusion. It's an automatic shotgun, kind of like the A12, um, and like AA12 and like Call of Duty. It just, it ramps up, it goes pow, 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 pow and it just speeds up. Really good weapon, really powerful. Um, unfortunately, can't take it. It really wants me to get that elemental power, but um, I'm gonna do regen hit. So even if if I if I miss, I recover HP, and if I, I if I miss, I get twenty percent of my health back, and if I hit, I get hundred percent of it back. Pretty good. Gonna make me a real tank here. This is a parkour room, which. Is made very easy because the bird has a second jump. Um, unfortunately, uh, fire does a lot of damage. So I'm going to stay away from the fire. And kick. Oh, he didn't die. Also, the reason why I switched to my pistol is because you move faster with the pistol out. The pistol has no... Um, pistols have no movement penalty. So you can use the pistol to keep your speed up while you're doing these parkour sections. Um, also, aerial movement is important. You definitely want to be able to move around faster. Um, this is one of the easier parkour sections. I've managed to get it. So, Twin Giant Slayer. True damage. 15% chance uh, of dealing true damage. I mean, uh, sorry, 10% chance of dealing 15% as true damage with a shotgun. Since I hit so many times, I'm definitely going to do true damage at least once. Oh, reinforced eggshell, another risky one to take. If my shield and armor is zero, I take extra damage. But I have a lot of skills that will re uh, regen my shield. So I should be okay. Let's move on to stage two, where the difficulty spike does jump up quite a bit. Oh, survival room. I'm still killing them in one hit, so that's pretty good. Ah, ah, ow, ow, ow. Ooh, lower that range. Oh, that's a shotgunner right there. That is a fire scale, a crimson fire scale. One of the best submachine guns in the game. Very nice. Wow! Oh, wow, he lived. All right, a lot of shotgunners coming my way. Arsonist, got a backup. Whoa, dark face bandit. These guys, their weak point is on their back and they do instant damage. Those guys are run killers actually, especially if you get one that has like a, a, a affix like armored or regenerative. It's, they are, they are scary enemies.
All right. All right, so Gigantic Explosion 3. Fantastic. Uh, six me uh, Another 6 meter increase. 60% cooldown. And it does cleave damage to all enemies in range. I think I'll do a Gigantic Explosion just so I can get that range up. And then if I can get that uh, leap damage, give money and get a scroll. Screw it. Let's do it. Untold effort. Wow! Fine. 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 This is going to give me untold effort again. All right. On to the next one. There's a sniper somewhere. I heard it. Ah, there he is. Gotcha, bitch. Wow, he pierced through the ground. Uh. And they did a lot of damage, too. Holy shit. All right, all right, all right. Peddler, please, please, please give me a new porcupine. Ooh, Devil's Covenant. Um, I lose 75% HP, but it doubles all the money that I have. And from now on, I'll give an extra, get an extra 50% from pickups. So I'm going to buy that. Always buy that because you can always heal up later. As a matter of fact, I can just buy healing. There we go. Um, I'm going to upgrade two more times since I can afford it. And also, the higher your weapon is that you're carrying, the ch the higher chances are you're going to find higher quality weapons uh, on the ground. So if I, if I keep upgrading, I'll still find another porcupine. Missed me. Um, I'll still find another porcupine of the same ilk. I'll, I'll find one that's plus seven or plus eight, even though the weapon I currently... Hello there. Oh! Sorry about that. Scared me. They just, two of the strongest enemies in the game just appearing right behind you. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. Wouldn't recommend any of it. Whee! Bam. 11,000 damage on that one. We playing video games on the internet. Oh, 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 ah. Yeah. Ah. Huh. Get poisoned. Ooh. Uh, I think that's called double flame, dual flame or something like that. Double caliber. Um, shoots two bullets at once. It's like the double take from Titanfall. Shoots two bullets at once. And if you kill, uh, if you kill with the, with the, a critical hit, you get the ammo back. Oh, <gasps> another porcupine. Another porcupine just dropped. Look at you. I'll come get you in a second. Let's see if I can make this jump. Whee! Well, it still killed him, but because of the because of the range, but I did not make the jump. Okay, goblet. To the last breath, gotta love it. All right, now my, my porcupine, pick it up. Sixty-five percent weapon damage against enemies in elemental effect. Chaser bullet on crit hit and um, fifty percent damage in decay effect. So. I get 115% extra damage if I can get if I can cast uh decay, which this weapon does do decay. Very nice. Unfortunately, it gives me two weapons now. I can't just only have one. So now my foundry has gone down from gone from level eight to level four. Now this boss is actually um really good to fight when you have a corrosive weapon. Because the boss has armor, so you definitely want to be able to beat an enemy that has that. All right. Do I have enough money for that? Destroying break while I just may bring you coins. Yeah, I'm going to take that.
All right. Look how fast I'm melting that armor away. Ooh, you're far away. And I'm, I don't have 100% effective range anymore. So I definitely got to get closer. Hi. Oh, my stability's gone too, so my recoil is massive. We doing some damage out here. There we go. There we go. Um, golden goblet. Um, max armor up after a leap. Definitely gonna take that. All right, final stage. Fully healed, ready to go. I just noticed it's not showing my buffs in the in the bottom. Wow, wow, slow down. Wow, killed them all except for him up there. Uh, let me see if I can, oh, bonus room. Now the problem is with the catfish men, they're really far away, and they're hard to hit. Um, and they also have ability to snipe you from far away. Their bows actually um, can do a power shot, which will pretty much wreck you. Just checking to see if that was a porcupine or not. It was not. Wow, this guy is actually hitting me. Kappas, they can actually deal all sorts of elemental damage. Very, very risky enemies to fight, or to leave alive. If you see a Kappa, it's probably best to take it out as soon as you can. And we're going to enter this vault. Oh, this is a boss room. I don't know what boss I'm going to get, but... Wow, these guys are taking a lot of damage. Might have to rely on my skills for this um, until I can get more weapon. Oh, well, the reason why they're taking much damage, I guess, is because I'm using a corrosive weapon, which doesn't do much damage against shields. So, Oh, my God, the shark enemies. The shark enemies are basically like Roadhog if you play, if you play Overwatch. They will pull you in and punch you in the mouth and kill you. The octopus uh, does uh, has a Gatling gun, and it does constant damage really easily. Oh God! The corrupted monk, very very difficult enemy to fight against, and he's dead. Um, he can suck health from you, and he's almost impossible to kill when you're fighting him with a crew because he can continue to just siphon HP from all your friends but when it's just you it's actually easy to out damage him there we go another illusion shotgun Ugh, I don't even want to look at it I don't even want to look at it Final Judgment, which uh, kills um, enemies that have 15% HP instantly. Um, definitely want to use that. that. Way I can just <sighs> clear rooms a lot faster. And that was just a bonus room, too. We still got a lot of stage to go. I'm gonna check that chest in a second. Ah. Uh. Stop hitting me. Oh my god, challenge event. 
Uh, oh my god. An elite Kappa. Never seen one of these before. Ooh, he's casting all sorts of elements. He's gaining his shields back. There we go. Unfortunately, didn't get a uh, a new weapon, but there is an upgrader over there. So let me see what I can get. Health for a scroll. You know what? I'm gonna give health. All right, it'll give me a buff whenever my shield's zero. Be fine. Let me upgrade this porcupine. Now it's almost exactly as strong as my other weapon, so I shouldn't have a problem. Uh, killing enemies. That's a big bump. Very expensive, but not wholly necessary. Oh, bonus room. Sick. Well, better kill these enemies first. There's an octopus up there. Oh, he jumped down. Thank you. Now, um, you might think that the game is kind of wigging out a little bit when I shoot, that's because I'm pulling both triggers at the same time. I can shoot like this to do my standard hit, or I can shoot like this, but that's not as fast. But if I pull them at the same time, I can shoot both firing effects at the same time. It's actually really great. Oh, this is a parkour room. I got lucky. I get two scrolls and I don't have to fight a boss. Now, ah, almost didn't make that jump. Now, this actually is very cheesable. If you're playing with multiple people, you can actually just access this chest by standing on the edge of that plank right there and just access the chest without doing the secret parkour. But it only unlocks once one person gets there. So usually you let your, your, your best teammate, um, who's like the best at this parkour, do it. And then everyone just waits under. But of course... I am choosing Ki Young, which he's not as fast as the other characters. So, um, makes this first jump a little more difficult. There we go. And here's the second point of cheese. If I aim for this right here, I can get it without having to do this parkour on these. I can just hit it right there. And done. They didn't really think this through, uh, I'm going to say. And I see if, I, if now once I'm here, my teammates can just stand on the edge of that platform right there and just access this chest. You know what? Realm of Corrosion. Because um, um, every couple of seconds, a green wave will come out and it'll cast that. It'll cast a corrosion on everyone around me. And of course, I do extra damage to corrosive. 60% moving speed, but I can't dash anymore. Um, very interesting scroll. Um, you feel that movement speed, by the way. 60% is quite a bit. You move fast as lightning, but the dash... Um, dash is just something that you I can't really afford to not have. Twenty thousand damage. Wow. Wait a minute. Why am I using that weapon? Very nice. Eighty percent damage enemies within seven. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. I think against against the. Uh, I think against the flow does not work well with uh, advanced depot. I'm gonna have to see something. Take out these monks first. There we go. We're doing we're doing big things out here. Uh, oh, a Yashka. Oh, he died. Okay, didn't expect that. Yashikas have a lot of defense. This 
still not doing enough damage to the guys with the shields. Gotta watch out for them. Oh, almost got me with that chain there, sir. There we go. Someone's shooting a lot of fire at me. There we go. Oh, upgrade room. One more for me, sir. Okay, assess this room. There's a shop over there. Oh. Oh, damage. Oh, Yashka, you survived that, huh? Very nice. Doing damage, keeping my armor up, keeping that health up. Elemental damage was 25. When triggering elements effect, elemental effect we pass on to nearby enemies. Yep, got to stack that elemental damage. I do more damage to enemies when I have elemental powers on. So definitely, definitely want to stack elemental damage as much as I can. I have no money. Lose health and get a scroll. Absolutely. Elemental torment. So even more damage against uh, enemies and elemental effect. Got to love it. Definitely worth taking. Stacking that elemental damage. Golden Goblet. A within range three. That is awesome. Um, 120 damage uh, against enemies within 12 meters. 12 meters is massive. Massive, massive, massive. And 120% damage. Undeniable. Can't pass that up. Ridiculous. Ridiculous damage, folks. Is this another chest? This is another chest. Wow. I want to gamble more with my HP again and get a scroll, which on the house means my first purchase at a shop is free. So what I'm going to do is go back over here at the shop and take advantage. Um, there is nothing I can buy because there's no uh, porcupines here, but I am going to buy the bun for free and heal myself back up. So all that health I used on those two chests, I got them back, baby. Thanks to Gourmet and On the House. Gotta love it when, scroll, um, when scrolls stack. All right, Umbrella Spirits. Hard to hit criticals on these guys, but um, oh, I'm getting absorbed. And it's scary when you don't know where you're getting absorbed from. But a, a good jump kick will take out those guys anywhere, as long as I'm in range. Enemy spawning in from some some ways away. Gonna just use my chop on these guys. Pretty small fry. And, ooh, I got stunned. Now you can kill that shark before he punches. Oh, um, before he punches you, but um, you got to be doing some serious damage, and um, you can't use your skills while you're chained. So now I'm gonna go back and check for some bonuses, but I gotta kill this arrogant lobster. So the arrogant lobsters are actually some of the most powerful enemies in the game because they shoot giant cannonballs from very far away. And they have an area of effect when they explode, but also they have area of denial by using uh, leaving those gigantic green, I'm sorry, red rings thing around. Wow, there's a lot of enemies that just spawned here. 
Get these crabs. Money, 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 money. Wow. Ow, that hit me. In the face. Do some damage to that lobster. Get my health back with a kick. Oh, I'm getting absorbed. Very nice. All right. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do the steel armor. Uh, the the la the next boss does massive damage from all sides with his cannonballs. Definitely wanna hit an enemy with the leap, get that bonus, and uh, tank that damage. I should be fine with ammo regen. And just gonna upgrade my porcupine one more time to plus nine, and uh, we're gonna tackle the last boss. And this boss has a bunch of mini cannons, which you'll see. They're going to pop out. That's the first stage. Got to get rid of these cannons before the big one opens up. Doing big damage, big damage. Got to kill the octopus and pick up his shell, which will allow me to take down his shield. Because I can't hit him with that shield up. But if I shoot that shell, boom. Doing serious damage. Punch him in the face. And I gotta kill these, uh... Okay, so now that I hit him twice... The big cannon opens up. Now those cannonballs that it shoots... Don't want to mess with those. Want to take them out as soon as you can. Oh, see? Look at that damage. Take him out as soon as I can. Pow, punch you in the face. You can shoot the cannonballs out the air, which is really good. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Didn't know you could do that until, like, recently. But that's it. That is the boss eliminated. Um, I did get rather lucky with my upgrades. Very happy um, that all of mine were in the kick status. Um, plus the damage up within range. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty lucky with this. Sometimes it's all over the place and you don't really get a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, synergy, but I got very fortunate and a pretty good, uh, synergizing, um, build. What with all the ammo regen that I had and all the elemental stacking, pretty good, pretty good stuff. Um, very happy with this run and let's see the final stats. 50 minutes and 55 seconds um, and 22 scrolls and 54,000 damage is my highest damage dealt in one hit. Pretty good stuff. Now, here we are at the talent level up screen. And just to explain this again for those who might not know, these are the upgrades that carry over from run to run. These are permanent upgrades that spread across all of your characters with the exception of the green um, over here. The green ones are hero specific. But these go for every character. And as you can see, I have them all unlocked. Um, you pick up the soul essence to use to upgrade them. And you can only carry over a certain number every time you reset. Um, 500 is the max. And there you have it. We have a completed run. So that was the porcupine. As you can see, a very versatile weapon. Um, let me go into its uh, armory. Um, go over to shotguns and uh, just give you guys a little taste of that porcupine very uh, very very powerful weapon in the right hands if you know how to use it if you get um, some good elemental damage on it if you can hit those critical hits 
um definitely a good a uh, good weapon to have um shoots shoots very fast for a shotgun and um gotta say it's one of the one of the most powerful weapons in the game and it's a good money maker too uh definitely would recommend it but yeah there goes the porcupine and uh that's gonna do it for this run um hopefully you guys enjoyed the video definitely want you to uh stop by the stream anytime you're available or check me out on youtube uh, youtube.com slash do stevious um, i'm going to try to get more and more runs up when it comes to each individual weapon so i can go through them all and there's always going to be some more weapons to add i'll probably look into doing some character streams as well but uh that's going to do it for right now i will uh see you guys next time